What's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Lil Donnie from the Wild Bunch. Today, I'm gonna tell y'all a story about somewhere you never wanna go. Petersburg Federal Institution. Now, upon arrival at Petersburg, it's one of the worst experiences you're ever gonna wanna go to. And, and I, like I said, I tell you these stories because I don't want you to go through them. And one of the worst experience that you're gonna experience if you ever have to go to Petersburg Federal Institution is the number three. Later in the video, I'll tell you about the number three and what I mean by that. And make sure you subscribe and like and comment. I wanna hear your comments. So when you get to Petersburg, they bring you in a room, there's a lot of y'all, it's probably already 50 guys already in there from different places. And then what happens is they take like three or four or five of y'all at a time to strip y'all to make sure you have no contraband or nothing on you. But this is one of the worst experiences I've ever been through. They take or tell you, take off all your clothes that you arrived in because when you're on the bus coming to the jail, they give you some khakis just to wear. No jacket, no nothing, just some khakis and some, some slippers like type sneakers. So when you get to Petersburg in their little holding room, they tell you throw all that stuff away. So in a little bag, they tell you throw that stuff in the bag. And then they strip you to make sure you have nothing on you. And um, they tell you bend over, you know, they look in your ass and everything, you know. And, and then they throw you a pair of drawers. Where they get these drawers? These drawers got shit stains in them and they tell you throw them on give you some other clothes to put on from their jail and then tell you move on to the next holding pen. Now, when you get in that holding pen, they wait till they probably get 20 or whatever and you sit in there for hours, probably three, four, five hours, whatever, till they find out where they gonna um, lock you at, where they got a cell for you at. So then they take you to your housing unit. Most likely you're going to the box when you first get there because they got to, you know, make sure you're idle. If you're staying overnight, you might be this day in transit going to another jail. But this is the worst part, fellas, kids, boys and girls. When they open up that cell door to put you in there, it's three beds in there, a bunk bed, a shower, a toilet bowl, and a sink. The worst thing you could ever see in your life. I must try to explain it as much as I can. If you know as a kid the bunk beds, it's two bunks. This one got three, and the top bunk you damn near on the ceiling. And then they got a shower in there. So you gotta take a shower with two other men? You gotta take a shit with two other men in there? It's three of y'all in there. They the worst conditions you ever wanna be in. You don't wanna go to prison. Stay out of prison. Stop breaking the law, get a job, save your money, invest your money. Like this is serious. Like I said, three, three people in the cell. That's not a good experience, fellas, boys and girls. You know, and like I said, I tell these stories because I want you to think of, oh no, I never want to go there. You know, you never want to go into these type of environments, man. Love it out here. Enjoy your freedom, man. Enjoy your freedom. And make sure you go get my book, Wild Bunch, The Dimensions of a Brownsville Millionaire. Out now and on Amazon. And stay safe out there. Stay safe out there. And go get that book.